were back at CES 2020 and I was able to get access to the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold. Uh, this was a new tablet slash PC, I guess you could call it, foldable PC, that Lenovo has decided to release. They've kind of debuted this a few months back. You probably saw some people using it. Uh, but now they've actually given the general public hands-on with it at CES 2020. I was able to get my hands on it, of course. You know, I wasn't going to come to CES 2020 and not get my hands on this. So me and my wife managed to work our way all the way back here get some time, some one-on-one -on -one time with the Lenovo. I was able to play with it, use some apps, uh, try the pin out. The keyboard wasn't functioning. Uh, the guy who was handling the product display just said that the keyboard wasn't working. But with that being said, we'll definitely have to report back to you on the keyboard and see how that functions with the Lenovo. So another thing that I like about the Lenovo is it has 5G connectivity. Uh, this is huge for me. I think laptops these days should come built in with 4G and 5G connectivity. Uh, the lack of it, I think, is just uh, a detriment to creative people in general. Um, but just speaking on a larger term, I think 4G and 5G connectivity is huge. So this will definitely have it. And that, my friends, is a step in the right direction. Another thing you'll notice with the Lenovo on the back of it, it has this leather built-in protective case that's already attached to the device. Uh, it's kind of an ingenious move, I think, because when you open and close it, the way it fits it, it makes it really comfortable in the hands. It almost makes it feel like a book. You feel like you're holding a book. It feels like that size uh, of an item that you've got in your hand, and it's no thicker than that, and it's not that hardness, that coldness when you hold it. You actually have that leather, so it gives you that warmth of holding it, and you don't mind having it in your hand. So when you pick it up, it's really comfortable. It's really soft. It's got a great material on the back. I think you're going to see something in styling like this on multiple different products, uh, especially the laptop style. For some reason, I just have a feeling that they're going to use this uh, kind of style when they build these. So the X1 Fold has many and multiple modes. Uh, it can be fully folded flat to come out to about 13.3 inches uh, for the display. And then if you fold it up, uh, the display will cut in half. And then that's where you can place the keyboard on top of that. Now the ThinkPad X1 only weighs about 2.2 pounds. So this is gonna fit really good inside your bags. It's gonna be easy to take around. Uh, it's really lightweight compared to my MacBook Pro, which is about four pounds. Uh, given or taking whatever I've stuck to the back of my Mac Pro, maybe five pounds. So this is definitely a lightweight option. I mean, literally, if you just had a big enough jacket pocket, you could throw it in your jacket and you wouldn't think twice. It's about the size of the iPad Pro. Uh, just imagine that and then fold it in half. And last but not least, let's touch on price. Now, Lenovo said there's not a set price, but they are pricing it around $24.99, uh, which I'm probably guessing is going to be a fair price. The guy that I spoke to in particular said this is going to have different models and it's going to be uh, really high end, high spec, and it's not going to be a slouch. So that's yet to be seen. I did say the software seemed a tad bit glitchy when I was using it. Now, when Windows launches Windows 10X, that's supposed to be built more for folding PCs. So we'll see, um, you know, how those things work out. You've got to give it time. Most likely you'll have to end up giving it another uh, year or so after launch, but uh, we will see. But Lenovo saying $24.99, um, if the specs are right, I guess it would be a good price. Um, um, but yeah, uh, we'll see. So make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, please show your love, show your support. Every little bit counts and it helps. The new channel is still new, so we need everybody to show their love. So thank you again for stopping by, watching the whole video. If you made it to this point, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.